The Technopop 8 looks so much like the recently released Infinite Smart 8 and ITEL A70. These three phones have so much in common, but the Pop 8 is offering a unique ingredient. So what makes the Pop 8 special? Or is it even special in the first place? The official price of the Technopop 8 is 98,700 Naira. With this price, the device features a Unisoc T606 processor, a 128GB of internal storage, 4GB of RAM space, a 13 megapixel main camera, a 90 hz screen refresh rate, a 5000 mAh battery and the all too popular dynamic bar. So is the Technopop 8 a good phone? Is it better than the Infinite Smart 8? And should you really spend your money on this phone? Let's find out. This is the box and right inside you get to see the phone first. There is a bunch of quick specs wrapped around it. The Pop 8 doesn't look bad in design but I will just keep it aside and move to the accessories. The first item is the bumper case. It is both flexible and transparent. It is easy to wear on the phone and does look nice as well. Next is the 10 watt charger, a type C cable, an earpiece and a SIM eject pin. So what's up with this design? Compared with the Technopop 7, this is a much better design. But what I still don't understand is whether these people are not aware that we are complaining about this particular design. I don't know if these people enter an agreement in the secret that all entry-level phones of 2023 must be an iPhone clone. Spark 10 Pro is currently around 120,000 Naira. If you have it, you might not be able to differentiate it from the Pop 8. I think the more expensive a phone gets, the better the design. In a general sense, design is one way of differentiating between an expensive phone and a cheap one. Now, the Spark 10 series have the same design. The Pop 8 series have the same design. The Hot 30 series have the same design. The Smart 8 series have the same design. The ITEL S23 Plus has the same design and the ITEL A70 has the same design. So how do we differentiate these phones? I don't even know what to say right now. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Just like the other phones, it has a side fingerprint scanner, a SIM tray that supports two SIM cards and an SD card, a Type-C charging port and a dual speaker setup. Aside from the fact that you get to hear great audio sound from the speaker however you position the phone, the speakers are very loud. Hear it for yourself. I guess that is so loud. Anyways, if you are not subscribed to my channel already, then you are missing out a lot. Here, I talk about the different features of every phone that I review after I have tested them out myself and I make good recommendations based on what I observe. So subscribe now and like this video because that's the only way you never get to miss out on my future videos. The next item we should look into is the processor. It amazes me that Techno this time decided to turn to the units of TC Sources processor. The Techno that we know will always turn to MediaTek to power their phones, but this time they sort of dumped the MediaTek for the controversial units of TC Sources. Now, the TC Sources is controversial not because it is unstable, but because a lot of people still don't think it should be trusted. No one has a problem with Unisoc as a company that makes chips. Our problem is that they allowed ITEL with their laggy phones to use their processors. But think about it, is it ITEL's laggy phones that are spoiling Unisoc's name? Or it is Unisoc's processor that are making ITEL phones lag in the first place and thereby spoiling ITEL's name in the process? Well, that is so much debatable, but what we do know is that the combination of ITEL and Unisoc is often time up to no good. That the Technopop 8 is using this processor makes everything kind of suspicious. Even the Infinix Smart 8 I mentioned earlier with a similar design as this Pop 8 comes with the same TC Sources processor. So what is going on? I bet these companies they won't merge. I guess my next video is going to be a comparison of the Infinix Smart 8, Technopop 8 and the ITEL A70. So should you trust the Technopop 8? I guess the answer is yes. Techno have come a long way in making a good name for themselves. If the TC Sources processor is not good enough, I doubt that Techno would deliberately use it on their phone. I have spent a little time operating this phone and I can tell you that lagging and overheating is not a thing with it, though I only use it moderately. For those who are looking to play high-end games on this phone, testimonies from those with phones that use the TC sources has indicated that the Pop 8 is a go, but I still have that little fear. Though you can go ahead and buy the phone, then play high-end games with it. 
I will always be here to listen to your experiences. Then for those who will say, it can never be me, I will never buy a phone with a Unisoc T606 processor. Other than the Redmi 12C, good luck finding a phone with a better processor in this price range. Up next is the camera. Just like the Smart 8, the Pop 8 offers a 13 megapixel main camera and an 8 megapixel selfie camera. Starting with your selfie camera, it doesn't really give much details in either portrait or normal mode. But at least, it does take good care of your background in portrait mode, even though it doesn't support manual focus. Don't blame me if I'm not smiling in these shots. Blame this guy, Musco. He was the one who said that I would spoil the cameras with my smile. There is a night mode for this front camera, but it doesn't make any difference. Fortunately, the phone comes with a front flashlight. If you are interested in the beauty mode and how it compares with the normal mode and the portrait mode, there you have it on the screen. So this is what 1080p 30 frames per second footage from the front camera looks like. Someday, when I'm awfully low, when the world is cold, I will feel a glow just thinking of you and the way you look tonight. Now, the back 13 megapixel camera. Portrait versus normal shot does not produce any real difference, except if the subject is very close to the camera. It also works better if the subject is very far from the background. If these two conditions are not met, you might have the same pictures whether you take them in portrait mode or normal mode. This is a 13 megapixel camera for an entry level device. Honestly, I don't see anything wrong with the camera. Definitely not for those who are looking to create serious content with their mobile phone camera. But for day to day activities, budget phones deserve budget cameras. It supports slow motion mode and it is mostly useful when there is sufficient light. For example, in this setting, I'm using an additional studio light to get this quality. For normal videos, it records 1080p and 720p videos at 30 frames per second. What you now see on the screen is what the video footage looks like. When I did a review of the Infinite Smart 8, I said that a 32 megapixel camera would have been a better alternative to the 13 megapixel main camera, and that is exactly the same case with the Pop 8. Now, about a year ago, a 13 megapixel camera phone would have probably been around 50,000 naira to 60,000 naira. Now that the naira is losing weight and the prices of phones are going up, we understand that we will pay more for even ordinary button phones, how much more entry level phones. But at least these people could have pitied us and optimized some of these features for us. Maybe a 16 megapixel camera for this phone in place of the 13 megapixel camera. After all, it is not the fault of the poor masses like me that the naira is losing value. Calm down, calm down, calm down before I lose it. And just before I tell you about the display, let me tell you about this very useful parental control app called iZ. It's an app that lets parents to keep an eye on their children wherever they are. All you have to do is install the app on your child's phone, which is very easy to do. And whenever you feel that your child is in an unsafe place, with just the push of a button, you can hear what is being said in your child's background in his or her location through your child's phone. This will make you to be aware of your child's surrounding. This app also gives you access to your child's messages across major social media platforms, so you get to know who they chat with. There are a lot of things you can do with this parental control app and keep your children safe. And as cheap as this app, if you use the link in the description, you get 40% discount off the original amount. Go download this app now, thank me later. Now, time to see what the display is made of. It's a normal IPS panel of 720 by 1612 pixels resolution. This is the norm for every entry-level phone and even some better devices. The only problem you might have with this display is the huge bezels all around, but you will get used to it. One good aspect of the display is the refresh rate. 90 Hz is not a bad idea. Expect smooth scrolling and better graphics. Pre-installed apps on this phone include TikTok Lite, Visual Media Player, and Wow FM. Some of the previous Technopop series support FM which works without the need of an earpiece. But this Pop 8 does need an earpiece to be inserted to work. Talking about the charging capacity, it comes with a 10 watt charger which is pretty low. For a phone with a 5000 mAh battery, the least Techno could have done is make the phone support 18 watt charging and then add an 18 watt charger inside the box. When it comes to entry level phones, 2023 seems to be a mysterious year for Techno, Infinix and Itel. 
They copied iPhone's design and held on to that particular design for most of their phones. So tell me, what could be worse? Your comments on this matter matters at this time, so let's hear it in the comments. This video will take you to the full review of the Technopop 7 Pro, while this video will take you to the full review of the Infinite Smart 8. Just in case you want to buy the Technopop 8, be sure to use the link in the description. When I see you again, I will tell you about how the Technopop 8, the Infinite Smart 8 and the ITEL A70 relate. See you then.